A major shakeup in the professional golf world as the PGA Tour agrees to merge with rival Live Golf, which is backed by the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund. It's an entity controlled by the Saudi Arabia Crown Prince. The PGA and Live filed antitrust claims against each other, making this even more interesting. Joining us from Augusta, Georgia, is WRDW morning anchor Nick Proto. Nick, thanks for joining us. Absolutely, Ryan. Good to see you again. It's been a little bit since we've been able to do this. Yes, and we last chatted when you were covering the Masters earlier this year, and the rivalry between the PGA and Liv was a major storyline then. Why is it such a hot-button issue? Well, this has been something going on for the better part of a year and a half now. Uh, when this tour came up, there was a lot of criticism uh, about where that money was coming from. The Live Tour, uh, of course, is the one I'm talking about there, backed by the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, as you said. And there were a lot of people that were referring to it as, quote unquote, blood money uh, because of human rights violations that they say the Saudis have committed over the last years, decades, whatever. So that's where this criticism started. And then you started to see these big name guys go over Phil Mickelson and Brooks Kepka and Dustin Johnson, and Bryson DeChambeau, and it created this huge huge divide in golf uh, that's been playing out over the a year and a half and any other tour any other league backed by anybody else probably wouldn't survive but because the Saudi Arabian uh, royal family has so much money they can just throw into this uh, there really didn't seem to be an end in sight until yesterday you brought up some of those human rights violations uh, the one that comes to mind the death of journalist Jamal Khashoggi the blockade of Yemen, which led to the starvation of millions of people. How much power does the Saudi Arabian government have now that they, uh, that Liv has merged with the PGA? A lot, um, to put it quite simply. Uh, it, it appears that this is going to be one entity, Live, PGA, and then the DP World Tour, which is uh, formerly the European Tour, which already partners with the PGA Tour. So that's kind of the two of them joining up with Live. But it's going to be run by somebody from the PIF. So Saudi Arabia basically owns golf at this point. Uh, the way this is going, the Live Tour has a huge influence now uh, over the way golf is run. Jay Monahan, commissioner of the PGA Tour, talked about bringing in some aspects of live golf, which were previously heavily criticized by not only Monahan, but players on tour, fans alike. Some of those aspects now going to be part of the game, most notably the team aspect. Now, we don't know the detail as to which they're going to incorporate those aspects of the game, but that's a big thing that we're looking at, too, is which aspects of Live are going to be playing out now in regular golf that we're going to see every week. That's a great storyline. Nick, finally, you brought up the PGA, which has criticized Live in the past. I mean, there's an antitrust lawsuit between the two. Why then did they make the merger yesterday? That's the big question, um, and, and that seems to be something that a lot of players were left in the dark in. You think about the guys who have been these torchbearers for the PGA Tour over the last year and a half. I'm talking Rory McIlroy, Tiger Woods, Jordan Spieth, Justin Thomas, guys who have given up hundreds of millions of dollars to stay loyal to the PGA Tour. These guys were left in the dark. There was a players-only meeting yesterday at the RBC Canadian Open up in Canada, and Jay Monahan went up there and, and talked about about uh, the deal a little bit and apologize for this uh, hypocrisy really that he's been dishing out because uh, you know he went on tour or excuse me he went on national television a year ago at the US Open in an interview with Jim Nance and, and basically said that he told his guys have you ever had to apologize for being on the PGA Tour drawing that line in the sand that we are here live is over here and now all of a sudden we're sticking together? No, we, we don't really know why they made this deal right now. Hopefully, we'll have some more answers as more details come out, but that's all kind of being fleshed out right now. They've done a great job of keeping this thing under wraps. Pretty amazing there were no leaks in this story until it broke yesterday morning. You're at the center of the golf world for a good chunk of the year. Augusta, Georgia there, Nick. WRDW morning anchor Nick Proto always has phenomenal information about uh, the golf universe and the PGA in this particular story. We appreciate you sharing on local news lines. Absolutely. Thank you, Ryan. Our pleasure. You're watching LNL. We'll be right back.